Hi guys, it's Ukraine Live and we're here in Suma. My name is Ivana. I'm from Match Guarantee, spelled with Y.com. And today's our topic is Ukrainian women and religion. Uh, we'll discuss some questions like about what do we feel about religion, if Ukrainians are religious people or not, and what is the percentage of religious people. And we uh, actually supposed to start from uh, here. Uh, this is a church called uh, Good News. Uh, yes, good new, actually. So, um, but unfortunately, maybe because of uh, how do we look like, I will exp explain right now how uh, the situation is, what the situation is between Orthodox and uh, Protestant churches in Ukraine. So they asked us not to make any videos right now. So maybe we will schedule with them on next Sunday. And when, once we schedule it, then we will be able to come. But still uh, they have a dress code so unfortunately we can't uh, even come in so uh, but uh, i think on next sunday we'll try to get the service maybe in a church with the not such strict rules uh, where i can just wear pants because there they don't and they uh, can uh, wear in sumi and we were wear church uh, good news uh, Protestant church but as I said they are don't they don't allow women in uh, pants to come in you know so unfortunately they ask not to make any videos as well and I'll explain you why it's reasonable actually because in Ukraine the situation between churches is very uh, difficult actually uh, most of Ukrainians are orthodox uh, and uh, most of churches are as well and all Protestant churches, we, we, our people have very um, short views about uh, churches, you know. Uh, Protestant churches are still uh, subscribing as something like uh, something bad i don't know how to explain it but still so uh we wanted to go to the church and they said that first of all they have a dress code from women so women should women should be uh not in pants but in something like dress or something like that uh to come in there and uh they asked us not to do any videos so uh anyway we will try we'll keep the topic so we'll try to ask uh, people on the streets what do they think about that and what do they think about religion and Protestant and Orthodox churches. So uh, they didn't allow us inside and uh, I, saw, I said that it's reasonable, I will explain why. In Ukraine Protestant churches are not something that we get used to, you know. It's something uh, that almost like maybe 80% of people think that it's something bad something not right, something that is uh, not like it should be, you know, not like in the orthodoxical way. And uh, uh, they don't like Protestant churches uh, and uh, specifically like older generation. And uh, most of them don't like people from those churches. So the situation actually uh, is uh, pretty uncomfortable for Protestants in uh, Ukraine, as I think maybe in big cities where uh, people are more open-minded, uh, you know, and there uh, Protestants can feel more comfortable. But even here in Sumy, it's not a village, it's a city, but still uh, there is a kind of prejudice uh, to Protestant churches, so they didn't allow us in, I think, because they were a little bit like um, scared, maybe, but not really like scared, but just uh, they uh, cannot expect that everyone will have good attitude to them, you know. Uh, so they didn't allow us, and that's all. Uh, but anyway, on next Sunday, I will uh, talk to. Uh, pastor from another church uh, I know for sure that they can come in there in pants so no problems with that uh, so 
uh, we'll try next Sunday as well to show you the service, like how the service is going in Ukraine, uh, in Protestant churches. And uh, they maybe can answer uh, us our questions from the point of view of Protestant people. So, uh, but still in Ukraine, I think 90% of Ukrainians, maybe even more, are orthodoxical. So, and it's not something that uh, you're showing on uh, for each and every people person, you know. So, if you're just walking on streets, uh, no one can understand what uh, are your beliefs. Of course, if you're not like wearing hijab on streets, so uh, that of course shows you shows that uh, you are a Muslim or so. Ukrainian women are uh, good Christians because uh, we were um, <laughs> we were born and uh, born sorry and uh, our behavior really depends on our traditions and on our religion uh, in what we believe. So both uh, pagan pagans and uh, Christians uh, they have some actually common views on family for example and uh, on something that is good to do and something that is bad to do you know understand like which uh, all topics there we can uh, suggest as uh, good and bad so on, from this point of view uh, pagans and Christians have uh, some common views for example uh, for both of them, on, based on our traditions, on Ukrainian traditions, uh, for both of them, like um, it's very family is very important. Family is very important. Kids are uh, the biggest value, and uh, this is very uh, something maybe a little bit personal. But for example, it's not like I'm Christian, so I will show it to everyone. I'll go to church each and every day. Maybe Protestants can uh, do, they have like, they are going to churches each and every Sunday or something like that. Uh, once they have a service, you know, maybe once a week or twice a week and they visit some events from their church. Uh, but Orthodox churches don't have such uh, rules and you don't have to visit them specifically in time. Uh, by the way, we are walking near the Ilinska church right now is orthodoxical church uh, so and by as well in orthodoxical church if I c come wear it like this so in pants and uncovered head uh, they won't allow me to come in uh, and it's for me always was a little bit like uh, I don't know not sarcastic maybe but uh, those are people who are saying that God can accept everyone, accept everyone, and at the same time they are not allowing you to go to the church if you are not dressed in a uh, in their way, you know. Uh, so it's a little bit confusing. Uh, we are walking right now at one of the central streets uh, in, of Sumy. Hmm? And there is also like, oh, maybe we can ask them as well. Just a second. Я припрошую вам можна задати декілька запитань про релігію в Україні. Ви знаєте, у нас є. Ні, тут чисто на декілька запитань, і ми підемо, якщо можна. У нас, знаєте, є адреса вебсайту, де ви. Там є інформація Я знаю, для журналістів, да. кореспондентів. Ні, це просто соціальний, соціальний експеримент. Тобто я зараз буду там, просто люди дивляться, які іноземці, і їм цікаво, як взагалі обставини в Україні складаються. І у нас сьогодні тема Україна і релігії, і тому, якщо можна, задати декілька запитань. Наприклад, тільки я буду перекладати, якщо не проти. Як ви думаєте, чи українці релігійні люди чи ні? Ну, бачите, якраз такі цікаві питання, на які кожен повинен відповідати сам особисто. Так що ось тут 
Я знаю цей сайт, так. Будь ласка, отримайте однак інформації повноцінної. А ви зараз не можете відповісти на запитання? На жаль. На жаль. Окей, дякую. Окей, до побачення. Okay, you see, so um, they didn't want to answer our questions, but they are staying here uh, to advertise their church. Uh, and it's also a little bit strange. So this shows that uh, Protestant people here uh, in Ukraine are a little bit uh, not expecting good attitude to them. So. And they are not scared, but always not. It, it, it's like that. So they are not expecting, expecting something good. Uh, mm? Okay. So they gave me uh, the card with their website, where I can get all answers for my questions myself. So um, okay, uh, but still. Yes, from my opinion, I watched, uh, I saw some statistics and uh, there are not so many pagans in Ukraine, maybe around 1% of uh, population. Uh, Protestants are around maybe 15% of uh, population and the rest are orthodoxical or actually they're around 15 or 20 percent of um, atheists. Uh, so, uh, but for young generation, they're going to be Asquita, by the way, today, and uh, she will explain you her point of view from the point of view of older generation. And for young generation, uh, that's not so really uh, important. Religious is not really important. Of course, if you're not only the Protestant, uh, because for if you're Protestants, their families are visiting churches like from the early beginning and kids are visiting churches from the early beginning so uh, but uh, for or if you it's a orthodoxical family it's uh, not really important to uh, to bring kids to the church from the early beginning you know and protestants are oftenly like taking care about their religion more uh, than uh, orthodoxical because orthodoxical is something that we already get used to that is uh, everyone uh, when the child is uh, born everyone is just uh, bringing uh, him or her to the church and actually make it Christian so uh, it's already like a tradition not not really a religion but more a tradition than a religion and no one is uh, paying like a lot of attention to that uh, uh -huh. okay so we'll try to go to another church right now uh, it's always also a protestant church uh, I don't remember how it's called, and in Ukraine all Protestant churches uh, has, have their names, you know, so they are called somehow. Uh, I don't know if it's the same like with the Europe, if uh, yes, could you please write them in comments, because I don't know what is the situation there in Western countries and USA, like, uh, so if you could write in comments, like, what is your opinion about that, and, uh, okay, just a second. and how many churches are protestant and how many churches are orthodoxical or actually uh, catholic uh, in your country that would be very interesting to know actually uh, and about catholic churches actually uh, we have only one here in Sume, so we have a lot of orthodoxical churches uh, we have like a lot of i cannot even count them maybe um, maybe I don't know around 100 or something like that Protestant churches maybe around 20 uh, only one Catholic Church and uh, there is one for I uh, know two two 
for Muslims also. Uh, so it actually shows what is the situation uh, with religion here. Okay, guys, so we're right now walking to another church. And uh, we will comment taking which I will sh ask, uh, see some comments right now, just a second. Okay, so... Uh, Just a second, where are you? It's a big church. Yes. Привет. <laughs> Has the weather turned to autumn today? Yesterday was so sunny. Yes, definitely. And uh, it was rainy today in the morning and it's really cold right now. Is Sumi cold? <laughs> yes, a little bit. Where you asked me? Sorry. Uh, are Ukrainian women good Christians? I already answered. Okay, hello. I will stick to being an atheist on the sunny side of life. <laughs> okay. Hi, the thing is, there are a lot of Protestants in the West like me. It would be good if you could find some Protestant girls to talk to. We'll try right now, actually, to find some Protestant girls to talk to. All religions are the cause of wars, past, present and future. Thanks, but no thanks. Oh, this... Re also, the interesting opinion. So, Sumi is five hours from Kiev. Yes. Hello, how long have to wait to get married in Sumi? After registration, how long before give date? Uh, how much you think it'd be uh, for marriage registration you need to apply uh, to the spe special department in the months before uh, registration itself uh, so you need to wait a month uh, before you can get married okay and what else is there a corruption in so many corruption is where everywhere in ukraine so, guys, uh, let's find a place to talk just a second. Okay, so uh, today we're gonna go right now to another church. We'll try to find some protests and girls to ask them some questions. Uh, and uh, maybe they won't allow us to come in, but still maybe we can ask some questions near the church. So, uh, and... Don't forget that today is going to be Ask Vita as well from 11 a.m. till 12 p.m. Uh, New York time. So don't miss this video and to don't miss our videos and our live broadcasts. You can just press like on this video, subscribe our channel if you still didn't and uh, press on the notification button not to miss our videos again. In this way YouTube will notify you and uh, you will get like notified for our live broadcasts. So, we're going to the church right now, we'll have a little bit road. So, I will see you right back in 10-15 minutes once we get into church, okay? So, stay tuned please and have a good day. See you in 15 minutes. Bye-bye.